I accidentally discovered a flight hack that ended up saving me hundreds of dollars on a recent trip from Ottawa to Dallas. It wasn't a bad accident. You will not believe how changing one simple setting can lead to such a massive flight price difference, which is why in today's video, I'll be walking you through exactly how this hack works so you can hopefully save big on your next flight booking as well. The key to this hack is understanding that when you are buying a flight ticket online, you will be shown different flight prices based on where you are booking the flight from. So someone that is sitting in the United States searching for a flight from Atlanta to LA might see a different flight price than someone that is sitting in Canada searching for the exact same flight from Atlanta to LA. If you are new to the channel, my name's Megan and today you are in for a treat as I will be walking you through how I saved $400 just by changing the location settings on United Airlines website. And as a bonus, if you do decide to stick around all the way until the end, I will share two additional hacks that I have used for years to always get the lowest flight tickets. These are game changers. I started searching for a flight from Ottawa to Dallas on United Airlines website in US dollars with my location set to the United States. When I went to purchase the flight for $698, United's website gave me the option to log in to my United Mileage Plus account. When I logged in, it recognized my Canadian profile and then changed my location to Canada. While the flight I selected did not change, the price was now $1,356 Canadian dollars. And this price difference was not just due to the currency conversion. 698 US dollars should have converted to around 946 Canadian dollars, which is $400 cheaper than what I was seeing. I switched my location back to the United States and the $698 flight price returned, revealing a huge price difference for the exact same flight just based on my location settings. This is an obvious example of the flight ticket price changing based on the location settings that you have at the time of buying your flight. But just to prove that this was not a one-off fluke, I'm going to walk you through another example. And these examples were not hard to find, by the way. Let's search for a one-way flight from Bangkok to Toronto, because I couldn't think of anything more random. With the location set to Canada in this browser, and with the location set to the United States in this one, you are seeing the exact same flights with the same prices adjusted to the currency conversion from US dollar to Canadian dollars. Nothing to see here, yet. Just wait until you see what happens when we change the location settings to the UK, but we keep this exact same one-way flight from Bangkok to Toronto. When I change the location to the UK, the flight options and the flight prices change. These flights are sorted to show the lowest priced flight tickets first, so you don't even need to do any currency conversion to see that the cheapest flight shown when I have my location as the UK is different from the cheapest flight shown when I have my location set to Canada or the United States. It's always worth changing your location and seeing what flight prices you are offered before you decide to purchase a ticket online. And I have two more hacks to share with you that are going to help you decide which country you should change your settings to in order to get the best chance at getting a cheaper flight ticket. This is going to save you from going through all 195? I think that... If you know how many countries there are in the world, let us know down in the comments. I think it's 195. But before I dive into those strategies, it is also important to know that many websites are not like United's website. And if you change the location, they know that you're not actually in the new location and therefore they do not show you different prices. You'll see that many flight search websites like Google Flights give you the option to change location, but then don't actually show different prices since it tracks your computer's IP address and can tell that you're not actually in Tanzania or Zimbabwe or wherever the heck you decide to set the location to. An easy and inexpensive way to get around a website finding out your actual location is to use a VPN. I have a VPN on every time I use my computer to protect my passwords and credit card information and keep whatever I do online private. But a cool bonus feature of a VPN is that you can change your computer's IP address. So by using a VPN to change my virtual location, I get access to all kinds of different prices because it tricks the website into thinking I'm in whatever country I decide to set it to. 
And this is not sponsored. I do just love my VPN and you can try changing the website settings without using a VPN, but the only way to be 100% certain that you are seeing the local prices if you are not actually in the country that you say you are in would be to use a VPN. I have a referral link in the description that's going to give you three months free to test out the VPN that I use. There is also a 30 day money back guarantee. So if it doesn't help you find cheaper flights, you can always refund it, but it has helped me out. A lot. So it was completely by accident that I found that cheaper flight to Dallas by having my location set to the United States. But there are two tricks that I use to consistently find lower flight prices. The first is to change your location to a country with a low cost of living, like India. Someone who is based in India and searching for flight tickets might see cheaper flight prices than someone who is searching from a high income country like the United States. And in addition to changing your location to a country with a lower income, something else that you can try is to change your location to a country where you are searching for domestic flights. Another example would be to set your location to somewhere in Canada if you were searching for a flight between two Canadian cities like Vancouver and Montreal. I have screen recordings of using a lower income country and then also using a country as your location where you are searching for a domestic flight. Whew, that's a mouthful. But you can find both of those examples in a video that I will link for you down in the description. And then remember that if you do decide to purchase a flight in a different currency, always consider any foreign transaction fees that your bank might charge and make sure that the savings are going to be worth it. The $400 that I saved on my flight to Dallas for Vid Summit last week was definitely worth it. Let us know down in the comments if you will be testing out this hack by changing your location the next time you go to buy a flight online. My name's Megan and I also hope you'll consider subscribing to join us back for more travel tips and hacks next week. But until then, best of luck with your flight booking and I will see you soon. Bye!